Hey everyone, have you ever been on a roller coaster, in a car, or on a boat and suddenly felt queasy? That unsettling feeling in your stomach, the dizziness, and sometimes even the cold sweats can be quite alarming. That, my friends, is motion sickness. It's more common than you might think, affecting many people of all ages. It's a common condition that happens when your brain gets confused about what your body is doing. Essentially, your inner ear, eyes, and deeper body senses send conflicting signals to your brain. You feel fine when you are still. Your brain and body are in sync, and everything feels normal. But movement can trigger those icky feelings. Whether it's the swaying of a boat, the twists and turns of a roller coaster, or even the stop-and-go motion of a car, these movements can set off a chain reaction in your body. Motion sickness is like your brain playing a trick on you, making you feel like you're moving in ways that you aren't. This confusion can lead to nausea, dizziness, and even vomiting, and it can make you feel really awful. The symptoms can range from mild discomfort to severe distress, making it hard to enjoy your journey or activity. But don't worry, there are things you can do to feel better. Simple remedies like looking at the horizon, getting fresh air, or even chewing gum can help. There are also over-the-counter medications and wristbands designed to alleviate symptoms. Staying hydrated and eating light meals before your trip can also make a big difference. Avoiding heavy, greasy foods and alcohol can help keep your stomach settled. With a little preparation and some handy tips, you can manage motion sickness and enjoy your travels without the discomfort. So next time you feel that queasiness coming on, remember these tips and take control of your journey. Let's talk about why you get motion sickness. Deep inside your ear, you have these tiny little sensors. Think of them like the level on a carpenter's tool, the one that tells you if something is straight. These sensors help you keep your balance. They tell your brain if you're moving and which way you're going. These sensors are super important because they help us stay upright and walk without falling over. But sometimes these sensors can get a little confused. Now, imagine you're in a car. You're comfortably seated, maybe on a long road trip or just a short drive to the store. Your eyes might tell your brain that you're sitting still, looking at a book or a phone. You might be engrossed in a captivating novel or scrolling through social media, completely absorbed in the stillness of the words or images in front of you. But those sensors in your ears? They're saying, whoa, we're moving. The inner ear, with its intricate balance mechanisms, detects the motion of the car as it speeds along the road. This mixed message, with your eyes saying one thing and your ears saying another, is what causes motion sickness. Your visual system is convinced you're stationary, but your vestibular system is adamant that you're in motion. It's like your brain is getting two different stories and it doesn't know which one to believe. The brain, trying to make sense of these conflicting signals, becomes confused and disoriented. Your brain doesn't like being confused. This confusion can trigger a cascade of responses as your brain struggles to reconcile the conflicting information. It can lead to those classic motion sickness symptoms. You might start to feel dizzy, your stomach might churn, and you could even break out in a cold sweat. These symptoms are your body's way of reacting to the sensory mismatch. To combat this, some people find relief by closing their eyes or focusing on the horizon. This helps align the visual and vestibular inputs, reducing the sensory conflict. Others use motion sickness bands or medication to alleviate the symptoms. These methods can help by either reducing the brain's sensitivity to the conflicting signals or by providing a steady point of reference. Understanding the cause of motion sickness can help you find the best way to manage it, ensuring that your journeys are more comfortable and enjoyable. So next time you're on the road, remember that your brain is just trying to make sense of the world around you. With a few simple strategies, you can help it along the way. Motion sickness can make you feel really yucky. Some people feel nauseous and dizzy. Others get a headache or feel tired. Sometimes you might even vomit, which is definitely not fun. If you start to feel any of these things while you're on the move, it's important to tell someone. Don't try to tough it out. There are things you can do to feel better. Section five, who is most susceptible? Anyone can get motion sickness, even astronauts but it's more common in kids and pregnant women. Some people are just more sensitive to motion than others. It's just how their bodies are wired. Section six, first aid for motion sickness, finding relief. Okay, so what can you do if you or someone you're with starts to feel car sick, seasick, or air sick? The first thing is to try to stop the motion. 
If you're in a car, pull over for a bit. Fresh air can really help. If you can't stop moving right away, there are still things you can do. Section 7. Fresh air and a fixed gaze. Simple yet effective. Try to get some fresh air by opening a window or going outside for a few minutes. It can make a world of difference. Also, try to fix your gaze on something that's not moving, like the horizon or a distant object. This helps your brain get a clearer sense of motion. Sometimes just closing your eyes and taking deep breaths can also help. Section 8. Pressure points and hydration. There's a pressure point on your wrist that you can try pressing. It's about three finger widths below your palm on the inside of your wrist. Gently massage this point in a circular motion. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Sipping on water or a sports drink can also help settle your stomach. Section 9. Over-the-counter remedies. If those things aren't helping enough, there are also over-the-counter medications that can help with motion sickness. These usually come in the form of pills or chewable tablets. It's always a good idea to talk to your doctor or pharmacist before taking any new medications, especially if you have any allergies or medical conditions. Section 10. Preventing motion sickness. Tips for a smoother journey. Now, prevention is always better than cure, right? When it comes to motion sickness, taking proactive steps can make all the difference in ensuring a comfortable and enjoyable journey. Whether you're traveling by car, plane, or boat, there are several strategies you can employ to minimize the risk of feeling unwell. So, here are a few things you can do to try to prevent motion sickness in the first place. These tips are simple yet effective, and they can help you stay ahead of the discomfort. Choose the right seat. If you're prone to motion sickness, try to get a seat where you'll experience the least amount of motion. The location of your seat can significantly impact how much motion you feel. In a car, that's the front passenger seat. Sitting in the front allows you to have a clear view of the road ahead, which can help your brain process the motion more effectively. On a plane, choose a seat over the wing. The wing area is the most stable part of the plane, and you'll experience less turbulence there. Plus, looking out the window can help your brain reconcile the motion it feels with the visual cues it receives. And on a boat, stay in the middle or towards the back. The middle of the boat is usually the most stable, and staying towards the back can help you avoid the up and down motion that can trigger nausea, avoid reading or using electronic devices. Remember how we talked about confusing signals to the brain? When you're reading or looking at your phone, your eyes are focused on a stationary object, but your body feels the motion. This mismatch can make motion sickness worse. Reading or looking at your phone can make motion sickness worse. Instead, try to focus on the horizon or a distant object. This can help your brain make sense of the motion and reduce the likelihood of feeling sick. Eat light. Avoid heavy, greasy, or spicy foods before and during travel. These types of foods can upset your stomach and make you more susceptible to motion sickness. These can upset your stomach and make motion sickness more likely. Instead, opt for light and healthy snacks like fruits, crackers, or nuts. Eating small, frequent meals can also help keep your stomach settled. Stay hydrated. Dehydration can exacerbate motion sickness, so make sure to drink plenty of water before and during your journey. Avoid alcohol and caffeine, as they can dehydrate you and make symptoms worse. Practice relaxation techniques. Stress and anxiety can make motion sickness worse. Try deep breathing exercises, meditation, or listening to calming music to help keep your mind and body relaxed. Consider acupressure wristbands. These bands apply pressure to specific points on your wrist that are believed to help reduce nausea. They can be a helpful, non-invasive way to manage motion sickness. Try natural remedies. Ginger is a well-known natural remedy for nausea. You can take ginger supplements, drink ginger tea, or even chew on ginger candies to help keep motion sickness at bay. Use medication if necessary. If you know you're prone to severe motion sickness, consider taking over-the-counter medication before your trip. There are several options available, so talk to your doctor or pharmacist to find the one that's right for you. Get fresh air. If possible, open a window or step outside for some fresh air. Fresh air can help reduce nausea and make you feel more comfortable. Lie down and close your eyes. If you start to feel sick, lying down and closing your eyes can help reduce the sensation of motion. This position can help your body and brain relax and recover. Use a cold compress. Applying a cold compress to your forehead can help reduce nausea and make you feel more comfortable. The cool sensation can be soothing and help distract you from the feeling of motion sickness. Plan your journey. 
If you're driving, plan to take regular breaks to stretch your legs and get some fresh air. Breaking up your journey can help prevent motion sickness from setting in. Keep cool. Overheating can make motion sickness worse, so try to keep cool by using a fan or air conditioning. Wearing light, breathable clothing can also help. Use essential oils. Some people find that certain essential oils, like peppermint or lavender, can help reduce nausea. You can inhale the scent directly or use a diffuser to spread the aroma in your space. Maintain good posture. Sitting up straight can help your body process motion more effectively. Slouching can make you feel more unwell, so try to maintain good posture throughout your journey. Use a travel pillow. A travel pillow can provide support and help you maintain a comfortable position. This can be especially helpful on long journeys where you might want to rest or sleep. Distract yourself. Sometimes keeping your mind occupied can help take your focus off the motion. Listening to an audiobook, podcast, or music can be a great way to distract yourself and make the journey more enjoyable. Consider a motion sickness patch. These patches are available over the counter and can be worn behind your ear to help prevent motion sickness. They release medication slowly over time, providing long-lasting relief. Try a neck massage. Tension in your neck and shoulders can contribute to motion sickness. Using a neck massage tool or getting a gentle massage can help relieve tension and reduce symptoms. Use a guided meditation app. Guided meditation can help you relax and take your mind off the motion. There are many apps available that offer short, travel-friendly meditation sessions. Be prepared. Sometimes, despite your best efforts, Motion sickness can still occur. Carry a travel sickness bag with you just in case. Being prepared can help reduce anxiety and make you feel more in control. Remember, everyone's different, so it might take some trial and error to find what works best for you. But with these tips, you'll be well on your way to a smoother, more enjoyable journey. Safe travels. Section 11, conclusion, enjoy the ride. Motion sickness can put a real damper on your trip, but with these tips and tricks, hopefully, you can find relief and prevent it from happening in the first place. Remember, if you do start to feel sick, don't be afraid to speak up and let someone know. And most importantly, try to relax and enjoy the journey.